It's okay. It's all right. Nobody has to know. Nobody will ever know. Well, it has been a few weeks since I've been here to Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne, but we are here today and I'm excited to see what new treasures have popped up. Um, we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit, but also we might find a few goodies to decorate our home. So let's go see what we can find. Here we go. Okay. Well, they're closing in an hour and 30 minutes. So, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> We're just gonna do the quick run through and visit the usual booths. Um, here, this is Tiffany's booth. Caribou antlers are on the floor. We have to be careful not to trip over those. What is this artwork? This is phenomenal. I'm really digging it. What does she have on there? 180? Looks like 180. I really like that. I don't know if it's really arts and crafts or is it Art Nouveau? She's great too. Hmm. I like that. And I really liked it from a distance. I still kind of like it close up. It's green. It would look really good um, with my now green house, which is crazy because I never really liked green before. And now I'm surrounded by green. But also, what is those birds what am I buying artwork today I think I am I'm gonna buy both of these I'm gonna buy the frogs I'm gonna buy frogs we're gonna buy birds birds and frogs how much on that one same price 180 all right I know exactly where to put that right at the top of the stairs so I just want to get a closer look at this before I completely commit. I have to take a step back to really take it all in. I'm kind of confused by this tin can in the middle of it. But also it looks like, I don't know, it's kind of like a trick of the eye, the way it all comes together. But I like it. It's like two different styles almost. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm buying them both. Okay. So the artwork is up front. And I'm going to do a little bit more poking around because I noticed this here and I kind of like it. I'm wondering if there's any signatures or markings on that. I'm going to try to turn it over. Let's see here. No markings or signatures. It's really nice. I kind of like it. It's only 40 bucks. So I think I'll take this with me, but I'm going to see what else I can find. That's a really neat shape to it so I like that as well it's $25 25% off everything in this booth is 25% off I'm gonna stick that in here pizza hand is still here I know I said I'd take it if it was still here but I don't know I'm just not feeling it this time around <laughs> okay decisions decisions 40 bucks. I know I can make money on that. I think I'm going to take her up front. I'm not going to walk around with her in there because the two of those pieces together are going to clobber each other. We've learned that lesson at the Goodwill with the baggies. Okay. Well, this piece has been here forever and ever. <laughs> it's been here forever. And a few videos ago here at Lemoyne, one of you commented, James Mont Ice Bucket. And I was like, what is a James Mon ice bucket? And so I looked it up. And I think it's this thing right here. This is a James Mon ice bucket. And um, they have $60. This is Tiffany's booth still. 60 bucks on this. But what I noticed was that this thing is now here. This is crazy. And that's what I was like. Oh, it's, you know, an ice bucket. But look, I don't remember this piece ever being here before. And this is crazy looking. It looks like a creature of some sort has the lining in it I don't know if these are signed oh yeah there's a signature of some sort on the bottom maybe it says Mont I don't know um, it's 25% off they might be worth picking up I'm gonna have to look them up though because it's a few weeks ago that I did look them up so here is a James Mont style okay so maybe it's not James Mont style three-footed metal ice bucket um, this one sold for 78 and here is the bird pitcher this one is Taiwan. So these are style. These are not actually 
I don't know, some are calling them James Mott, some are not. Uh, but these two only sold for $78. These are 60. Um, they are 25% off. Don't want to show you guys my new password. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, let's do 60 times 0.75. 45. So they're only 45 bucks. There's still some money to be made there. Obviously, I would not be doubling my money, but I feel like those are kind of monumentous. Monu is that a word? I think it is. Um, I, don't, I don't know. They are marked. Maybe they're marked Taiwan. Maybe that's the marking on the bottom. Maybe they're James Mott style. But those are super cool. And I think I'm going to grab them this time around because now there is a picture. I don't remember the picture. I'm saying now there is a picture to go with the ice bucket. But I'm still probably going to sell them separately. Okay, well, I think I did some damage here at Tiffany's booth. I mean, not literal damage, but I did find some cool stuff. I'm going to go around the corner and see if there's anything on the outer bookshelf. Occasionally, she'll stick some new pieces out here. This is kind of neat looking. Let's look at this. That's metal. Arabian etched steel vase. That is pretty cool. It's only $20. I don't know. I feel like I bought quite a few pieces. I think I'll pass on that. I think we're going to keep going. Well, it would not be a trip to Le Moyne if we didn't poke through a Becky's booth just a little. She has her usual 20% off. Looks like she's got her assemblages out. Those are adorable. She also has two sleds left. I was noticing, but I don't need another one. <laughs> I don't need another one. Um, the one I have is, is doing the trick. Here is the zombie elf. <laughs> this is the second time I've ever seen this elf. And I just like, it's those crazy eyes for me. Pixie Potters, Los Angeles, California. Oh, he's got his original sticker. But he's just got this face on him, and it's like he's, like, crawling. He's like, feed me, I need brains. You know what I mean? Like, he's after those brains. Okay, well, I did not see anything in Becky's booth this time around. Um, but we did look. She still has some really great Christmas out. But I feel like... I have enough Christmas at the moment. I did briefly consider buying the tooth garland that I showed in a previous video, but I don't need it. I do kind of need it, but I don't. Now we're gonna head on down this way towards the vintage booth. But before we do that, let's get sidetracked at <laughs> JT's booth. This is JT's Wow Most Items $10 booth. Looks like he has quite a few dolls in here. The last times I was in here, I actually found a little bit of Campbell pottery, and that was pretty exciting. Here is a wedding box. What is wrong with this? <laughs> Ten dollars. Is it broken? No, it's good. Ten dollars. Coin dot. I'll take that. There is a gorgeous drink set. Fifty-eight dollars. But I'm still sitting on the last few carnival glass drink sets that I purchased. Opalescent juicer. I just saw one of those this past weekend at the. Um, Heinz History Center in Pittsburgh. Noah's Ark. What do we have down here? <laughs> Noah and two reindeer. Is that what's going on or is that Santa? Santa with a bird? No, that's probably Noah. Are there more animals inside? It's kind of heavy. I don't know how... I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to walk away. Oh my gosh, those are so fun. 45 on the set. That's made out of wood. There is a Blanco Owl ashtray. 
kind of digging it, but I have no use for an ashtray. <laughs> Um, I just noticed this Bjorn Winblad, um, Nymal Rectangular, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Um, you can see here on the back it's marked Bjorn Winblad. For some reason, every time I find it, it's chipped. But at least this one is on the back. That might look nice on my gallery wall. Right now I have some embroidery, I have some paintings. Um, it might look nice to have like a ceramic plaque. Do a little bit of mixed media, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've always liked Bjorn Winblad, and this one's got a bird on it. So, stick that in there. $22 and 20% off. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks like Murano. Murano Glass Angel, $45. She's beautiful. What's wrong with her? <laughs> Only forty-five dollars. I don't know. She's stunning. Does she have a sticker? I don't know. She's beautiful. Oh, she's marked. She has a etched marking there. I don't know if you guys can see it. She's signed. Here, I'll take that. And this one, I believe, is. Made in Mexico, I think. I could be wrong. Maybe. I'm sticking that in my basket for 18 and 20% off. I do love this um, fused glass and night light. Oh, I need one of these. The entire set is 425. But I have the tree, I just need the colored spinner. Okay, well I am now going to cut back up in this direction towards Kenny's booth. As I mentioned earlier on the video, I'm on a bit of a time crunch. We're actually going to celebrate Juliet's birthday with my uh, former mother-in-law, who I'm still really close with, and my former brother-in-law. We're having sushi for dinner, so um, we're going to head back to the back corner to see what Kenny's got. I'm curious what this is. What's going on here? Mid-century modern pink fish. Move Santa. Where do you want to go, Santa? You can hang out right here. Mm, all right. I want to see what this fish is all about. What in the world? Thirty or twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> that is just so much fun. I feel like if I was buying that for myself, I'd be willing to pay that price for it, but I don't think there's enough room for resale. That is a fun rug. It has a duck on it. It's kind of a neutral color scheme though. That's not really me. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I just realized it goes all the way over there. I'm just trying to think if I'd have anywhere to put that in my house. 235, big woven duck rug. I'm so tempted to pull it out and get a closer look at it. <laughs> you don't need a rug, Jocelyn. Where would you put it? I don't know where I would put it. Okay, I'm gonna walk away. And here we are in the back corner <laughs> in Kitty's booth, which I think is probably gonna be our last stop of the day before I take off to enjoy some sushi dinner. <laughs> Let's see what new treasures Kenny has loaded up into his booth. Usually takes a couple of uh, couple of loops before you really see everything. I'll let you guys know if I find something cool, like those things. Bronze cherub statue. What does it say on there? Something August Moreau. I wonder if that's. Oh my, he is anatomically correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say that would look really cool in my garden, but then I'm like, you know, my kids would invite their friends over, and my kids' friends would be like, hey, look, look at the Cupid. Restaurant Tower. I've had one of those before from the Goodwill. He's got $24.99 on that. 
I think mine was actually missing one of the cups. <laughs> Made of squirrel. Alright, well, I don't know. Nothing's really catching my eye today. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna leave Kenny's booth without finding anything today. I spy some fairy lights. Moon and star, 75 on that. I kind of like this blue opaline. I guess blue milk glass. It has a coralline texture, which is this uh, kind of gritty texture. Let me see if I can find the price, $50. What's Marlin's signed fairy light, $50. Am I being picky today? I think I am. I think I'm being picky today. That is a really fun tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> is that a um, German Shepherd? I think it's a German Shepherd rubber face. He's got damage though. It's a shame. Somebody loved him dearly. You can just tell. Here is another tree. Makes me uh, think about getting my aluminum tree out. Pottery snowman bowl. There's a mark on that. Ten bucks. Studio pottery. Okay. I'll take that. And I was noticing this fellow over here. I am going to snap a photo of this for my friend Donna at Moondoggy Coffee. Um, and see if she would like this for her Basset Hound rescue auctions. While I'm waiting to hear back from Donna, I have to look over and notice this Mola. Modern Rabbit Stitched. Come here, you. I'll take the Mola. Uh, 24 and 20% off. <laughs> oh, I just looked at his face and he's so cute. Okay, um, Donna says that uh, stuffies like this, stuffed animals, are a hard sell at auction. Um, so even though he's so adorable, and I definitely took 7 million photos with him, um, even a sad, a sad photo with him to send to Donna after she said that um, she doesn't think he'd do so well at auction. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave him here. He'll find a nice home. All right, well here is a beautiful paperweight um, with Milfiore and a bird on top. Uh, $33, I don't see any discounts on here, but um, I think I'll grab it for that price because of the figural bird. The bird it wasn't on there, I would not pay that price for it, but we'll grab that and uh, we are making our way up to the checkout. So I'm so excited for this bird artwork, right? I'm carrying it out to my car and you guys are gonna laugh at this, right? Like, oh my gosh, it has birds on it. I don't understand why they're on a table. Now I do. The taxidermy is stable. <laughs> I'm dying. I am laughing at myself so hard right now. Those poor birds. <laughs> The tin can is full of bird parts. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> it's okay. It's alright. Nobody has to know. Nobody will ever know.